Hello students, this is Veena, Assistant Professor in the Department of English in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today I am here to present the topic about developing public speaking skills. How your public spe speaking skills can be developed. Before that, we will try to understand why is that it is very very important for you all to develop public speaking skills. What is that which will help you in developing your public speaking skills such that you will cater to the needs of the professional workspace. So let us get started and know, let, try to learn the importance of developing the public speaking skills. Here we go. Addressing a small group or a larger Formal gathering speak is public speaking. That is, you are addressing either a small group or a larger gathering. It is regarded as public speaking. Now, why is it important? What is the need and what is the purpose of developing this public speaking skills? Especially the students of engineering who are going to place themselves in that professional platform and address large gatherings in terms of requirements or the needs to cater their professional entities. That is, in the process of development of their professional growth, of their organizational growth, you have to develop these public speaking skills such that your presentation of your ideas, thoughts, your uh, approaches will be addressed to those people who are going to help you in the development of your professional growth. Now, it is the process of communicating information to an audience. That is, when you are standing on a prof professional platform to address a gathering where it is equipped with all those professions to judge you or to listen to you, you are going to provide the information which is relevant to that particular subject and also express your thoughts, your views on that particular ta topic such that it is rendered correctly, accurately to the people, to the audience who are listening to you. So, it is the passing of information, it is the sharing of ideas, it is the presentation of your views, thoughts or the ideas which you are going to project in front of the personal people who are professionals such that they will help you in developing and they will try to get access to your information and make yourself comfortable in that platform. Now, the benefits. What are the benefits? They include sharpening, critical thinking and verbal or non-verbal communication skills. Public speaking will help you in sharpening your critical thinking skills. That is, you can critically analysis your audience. You can critically analyze the situation where you are standing and try to understand the situation, the place where you are standing and also try to know your audience and render your message. It also helps you in developing your verbal or non-verbal communication. This type of speech is deliberately structured with three general purposes. We have three main purposes which caters through the public speaking. What is that? To inform. Why do we generally talk? To inform about some particular information. To provide information regarding the elements or regarding the professional needs which are in your way to address to the people. So, you are here to speak in front of others to inform about some particular information. Next comes to persuade. That is to make someone motivate, to make someone try to do something, to persuade others to do 
work to persuade to others to understand the situation and entity of that concept and make them create interest in that particular work next to entertain why do we speak to entertain our friends to try to grasp attention of your family members or your friends so three main purposes of public speaking could be to provide information to persuade others or to provide entertainment to your friends next addressing a small group or a large formal gathering what are the things which you have to keep in your mind to address a small group or a large gathering it can be anything it can be one person who is listening to you or it can be a huge crowd but these are all the elements which you have to remember while talking what are those begin by setting aside time to assemble your piece so first time to set up for some particular time and make a good setup of the place where you are going to address the gathering that is first and foremost thing first set up the timing at what time you are going to address the gathering that must be planned try to set up the place where you are going to address or where you are going to give the speech next move on by jotting down points you want to get across to your audience first don't just go abruptly and stand on the stage without any preparation try to jot down the points which you are going to address your audience try to jot down all that information in logical manner such that you will not go out of the flow and you will be synchronized in the flow of the events what you are going to talk and you are informing everyone in a very logical order without messing up that event so jotting down points before is the very very important element which you all have to remember before you give a public speech then arrange them logically jot down those points while jotting down there may be some confusion you may put one point before and other point after which has to be rendered first so organize those points in what way in step by manners in what way you are going to inform to your audience what is the sequence of the information sequence of the event which you are going to put forward your audience is the most important thing so you have to logically organize your points such that your speech will be in an organized way and in an appealing way to your audience next after this you can mix in something more to hold your audience attention now what are the things what are the elements which will make your audience attentive towards you these are the elements now add stories don't just go on reading the essay or the article or any information which you have to render it to your audience try to make it in a form of a story try to explain them with some examples that will make your audience attracted towards you your listener will pay more attention when you explain him something with an example or through a narration of a story so that will surely help you and help you in making your audience get interested into your speech next illustrations that is with example illustrate that particular event or situation or that information very clearly and specifically that is that will also be an added element in your speech next comes props props like images videos slide show ppt presentation anything that is these will be the added tools for you to help in the making your presentation very effective next strengthen your speech following the given methods now you will 
going to strengthen your speech how is that you bring that firmness that grip that standard in your speech what are the elements which you have to for sure understand and also implement while you are giving a public speech now what are those know your audience beforehand have an idea of the audience who is going to listen to you listen to your information listen to your speech try to understand try to make a uh, create a knowledge over the people who are coming to listen to you so try to know them what kind of audience are going to present are they professionals are they scientists are they someone who are very common listeners anything try to know your audience try to understand their mindset such that your speaking will help them in making your speech more effective yeah so to know your audience these are few steps you have to follow such that it your uh, your speech will become more effective now first you need to know who will be listening when you speak is it so yes we have to know try to understand who is that coming to listen to us who is that we are going to provide that information with to put it another way know your audience that is understand the way they think understand the knowledge they have so when such people are coming to listen to you proper planning must be done such that you make them happy attracted and also equipped with that information which you are going to provide them next find ways to get acquainted with your listeners so try to find some ways or try to try to develop those strategies such that you get acquainted to your listeners that is you will get in touch with them or talk on a friendly note acquaint to get friendly with the, your audience so you will develop that strategy of convincing conversing or acquainting to your audience next comes aim to intimate with them that is you have to intimate with them such that they look into your eyes and have an eye contact with you when your audience i or your listener is having eye contact with you that means that he is able to understand and he is interested in your talk see that that intimacy between you and your listener is developed next dig up their eccentricities wants aches and pet peeves that is try to understand their needs that's all overall try to understand their need or the purpose for what they have come to listen to your speech try to cater all the needs and the purpose for which they have come to listen to your speech your information must be productive the information whichever you are planning to produce or uh, put forward in front of your listeners must make them productive break them use it productively so try to make all these points very very uh, notable in your public speech then demographics are an integral part of discovering your audience the space the time the situation where you are standing and speaking all the needs of the requirements of your audience is very very important next just interact with them in the first 5 minutes of your talk just don't directly go stand on the stage and start giving the speech try to interact with the listener whom you are going to, uh, in front of whom you are going to present your speech try to give a small conversation small talk with them try to develop that rapport between you and your audience such that they get attracted towards you and tend to listen to your information whatever is provided so therefore knowing your audience is the most important aspect in your speech next comes be an expert of your topic 
this needs lots of practice you have to be expert of your topic whatever you are going to render in front of the public you must be confident you must project or give the information which is true with which is authentic and which is accurate provide all the information with relevant evidences and the proofs or the statistical analysis if it is very very important information if it is an informal talk try to get in touch with your audience mood uh, view and uh, according to their needs try to mold your speech such that they get interested in you so to be expertise over your topic is the most important thing you must know what is that you are going to talk on what you are going to talk how you are going to talk what is that information which is very very important to your audience for which they have come to listen to your talk okay remember all those points and see that you get expertise over your topic whichever you are going to render in front of your public now see there are some points which are very very important which will help you in becoming expertise over your topic point 1 make sure there are not things you are embarrassed to say or not positive of the pronunciation that is be sure that your pronunciation is good be sure that you are not going to talk anything which will make your listener feel bad be having be sure that you have clarity you ha- you must be specific you must be formal you must be good at your speech you must know proper pronunciation you must be able to frame proper sentences which will not project any kind of in negativeness among your audience next it will also help you not to use words to know the meaning so you do not use a wrong word don't use wrong words use only words which you know the meaning don't try to act smart and uh, use all those words which you don't know the meaning if you don't know the meaning of a word and if you are using it in front of your in front of your audience or your listener and he knows the meaning which is not at all relevant to your topic or, or that particular situation then you are in the danger zone so try to understand the true meaning of the words what you are speaking such that there is no confusion such that there is clarity among your speech next if you have too many words that people don't know try to cut them off try to use all the words which your listener know try to be so specific in your speech such that it does not confuse your audience so keep in mind all these points which will help you in becoming expertise over your topic use proper sentences use meanings or use words of the meanings which you know and try to frame your speech such that there is no confusion created and your audience is happy next accentuate the positive that is try to render all the information very positively don't use negative sentences nor complain about anything nor try to demean something or demean the text whichever you are referring to try to create that positive environment using that formal talk in a very positive way don't refer to people don't refer to any kind of events which will create any kind of mess in your speech try to be positive try to be accurate try to provide quality to your speech when you are delivering the speech that is what kind of speaker are you that is the positivity will develop from the notion of what kind of speaker are you in what way you are going to address or impress your audience 
how is that you are going to cater to the needs of the audience who have come to listen to you all these points are very very important speaking is not a joke you have to be excellently practicing all these things in all the ways to impress your listener and that is a very very tough task practicing planning organizing presenting all this stuff you have to learn you have to master to become very very proficient in your profession these are all very very important planning organizing presenting being creating a positive notion about you around your your people so be specific create that interest in your listener and try to talk in a very very positive manner to create positive environment around you people whoever are going to listen to you must feel it soothe and relaxing to listen to your speech they should not feel unhappy or they should not feel bored when you are giving a speech then get in touch with your strengths and weaknesses try to analyze your strengths and try to remove your weaknesses while you are speaking if you have any weakness of using any kind of gestures or using any kind of language where which is not at all authentic try to remove it practice to remove all your weaknesses try to have grip over your strengths your ability to talk your ability to pronounce pronounce properly your ability to present yourself well all these things may be your or may be your strengths so try to concentrate on your strengths rather than feeling bad about your weak points ignore the weaknesses and try to inculcate and make a habit of using your strengths while you are giving a speech next do you have a great sense of humor you have to develop if you don't have never ever try to go on lecture when you are in public try to make it it effective in the form of a conversation using illustrations or in a way of storytelling or in a way of adding humor in the context wherever on whatever platform you are going to talk so people will be attracted towards your way of explanation your way of telling the story your way of explaining the examples all these are very very important elements next one style is better than another or try to be somebody you are not do not alter yourself this is very very important don't alter yourself try to present yourself as you are don't try to replicate someone else don't try to copy somebody's attitude or behavior while you are giving a speech be yourself try to you uh, try to be very sure about your style try to make your style possible enough to impress others so be yourself do not copy others try to make your strengths useful in the way of your speech and impress your audience next get comfortable with the environment before you step on to the stage try to get comfortable with the environment around you try to check the premises of the podium try to check the premises of the stage try to check the view of the podium from where you are standing and rendering your speech try to acquaint with that place such that you will not feel that you are an alien to that particular place or you are going to address some people whom you do not know so try to present there before try to make yourself uh, in such a position where you are going or conversing with the people on the beforehand to understand the situation of that place and 
cater to the needs of that environment where the uh, listeners are going to come and sit and try to listen to your speech so get acquainted with the environment such that it will create an ease in you and also it will create awareness of the surroundings and develop the ease of ease or flow of your speech next visualize your audience don't try to hide yourself from your audience because you are the person who is focused on on that particular platform so try to visualize all the audience all the listeners whom you are addressing try to look vibrant try to be confident enough to have eye to eye contact with your listener so in such way visualize your audience don't have public fear don't fear if there is more number of people more number of audience present in front of you don't fear try to gain that confidence and address with very accuracy and flow of thoughts expressions ideas adding some kind of props this will help you body language how you are using your body language your gestures to impress your audience is also one of the important task which will be very very helpful to you in your speech if you get expertise on it next be smiling while climbing the stage try to project yourself positive with a positive smile with a small smile you can impress your listener when you are climbing onto the stage try to give a small smile not laugh smile next when you are finally upon that podium relax take a long breath don't get confused don't have many kind of thoughts in your head try to be relaxed try to be very specific and very very accurate in delivering your speech relaxed give food to your thoughts try to recollect all that which is practiced and try to present in the way you have organized them try to use that humor which you already have the in a uh, uh, habit of using it try to tell examples try to use those illustrations such that the listener grasps your attention so all these things will surely make you a good public speaker and which is also very very necessary for the growth of your professional development so as future professionals future public speakers you have to inculcate the habit of speaking confidently confidently which can be developed through proper planning practice organizing the situation understanding your listeners and also getting acquainted to all the resources which will help you to deliver deliver proper speech so these are all main elements which you will utilize in your public speech next now developing public speaking skills what are the important elements or the characteristics which you are going to focus on now don't be nervous be confident be sure have clarity over your thoughts such that you have good clarified speech providing the information whichever is important and whichever is tend to be delivered to your listeners next gestures use positive gestures your body language projects your behavior and attitude so use gestures which are not offensive which are in a positive way attract your audience next podium try to make acquaint with your podium so that you can visualize your audience in the long or the shorter distance see that your podium is placed in such a way that you have good contact that you have good conversation with the people around you next skill skill is nothing but having expertise over your topic being 
very confident enough to deliver the topic on which you are going to give the speech so you must have the skill to get the attention of the listeners through the way your of your speech maybe using humor maybe using examples and illustrations maybe having eye to eye contact have the skill of speaking such that others get attracted towards you next professional be a professional give a formal speech be specific enough to make your speech very effective that will add very very good note to your speech next audience always know your audience never ignore your audience try to cater the cater to the needs of their requirement this is very very important which you have to remember before you deliver your speech next here are my 10 tips for public speaking point 1 nervousness is normal practice and prepare practice well and prepare well such that you can happily give your speech without any mistakes or without any confusion so practice and preparation will help you not to get nervous mm-hmm. your second tip is know your audience your speech is about them not you so what are the important characteristics you will choose to know your audience is choice of words how you are going to choose your words to impress your audience to cater to the needs of the interest of your listeners next level of information to what extent you are going to provide the information that is very very useful to your listeners so providing the information to the extent of their needs is very important next organization pattern how is that you are going to organize your speech on what levels how is that you are going to take pauses in between and crack that break such that your audience will not get bored this is also very very important next motivational statement in your concluding statement i suggest you must have one motivational statement which will make your listener attentive towards you and also understand the importance of your speech so be sure that your speech have all these things next organize your material in the most effective manner to attain to your purpose organize them in a step by step orderly manner create the frame framework and the structure of the content and then make that you will remove all the unnecessary elements from your things and prepare the draft which is qualitative and also quantitative which is also catering to the needs of your sp- uh, listeners yes next one watch for feedback and adapt to it as soon as you finish your speech watch for feedback try to take the feedback positively try to improve step by step taking the feedback from the audience don't get uh, don't feel bad that i got this kind of feedback maybe in the next session you will do more better try to take the feedback and try to adapt it next let your personality come through when you are giving a speech make sure that your personality is identified don't copy others try to make yourself comfortable these are all very very important elements to develop good public speaking skills next use humor tell stories and use effective language as we have already discussed it is very important to break that ice with small humor or a small story or with a small example next don't read unless you have to work from an outline don't go on read the lines which you have jotted down for your speech 
don't read try to render the uh, that information in your own words just refer the outline for the organization of your speech until unless it is needed you will not read the lines next comes use your voice and hands effectively there must be proper coordination between your voice and with your hands your gestures projects your personality so always try to see that your voice and your hands or your legs while walking on the stage all coordinate and are synchronized next grab attention at the beginning and close with a dynamic end try to grab attention with a small conversation or with a small uh, humor or with small two lines which will make your listener attracted towards you and end on a dynamic note your conclusion must be dynamic it must be registered in the minds of your audience such that you have to make your conclusion which will be registered in the brains or in the notion of your audience they must recollect you remember you for rendering such a beautiful message or rendering such information which was very very helpful to them next use audio visual aids wisely don't just use them as you have to use them use them wisely make your ppt presentation very effective such that it will not only provide information but also cater to the needs of the information which you are talking it must add it must polish your speech such that it will look more effective and beautiful so when you are using some tools while speaking like ppt presentations or the diagrams or the pictures any such thing see that use them wisely such that they represent the proper information of the in uh, uh, speech whatever you are going to delivery so therefore i end on a note saying that public speaking skills are very very important for you all to develop for your professional growth practice prepare organize plan and then deliver understand your audience be clear be specific use humor use illustrations and create that interest in your listeners to make sure that your speech is productive so i hope all these tips will help you in developing your public speaking skills thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates